Imagine having a magical tool at your fingertips, one that can transform your wildest creative ideas into stunning, high-quality images. It's not science fiction, it's a reality. Welcome to the world of Dolly 3i, where artistry meets technology to produce captivating visuals for your digital projects. Today, we're jumping into this intriguing world to discover how images are made. Have you ever wondered how to bring your imagination to life with the click of a button? Well, get ready, because we're about to explore on a journey that will unveil the incredible potential of DALI 3. Whether you're an artist, a digital content creator, or just someone curious about the wonders of AI, you're in for a treat. So fasten your seatbelts and prepare to be amazed as we explore this innovative tool that's changing the way we see and create art. There are three ways to access DALI 3, with two of them being free and the third being a paid option. Let's first explore the free methods. When you enter the platform and go to More Creative at the bottom, you can click on it. Then you paste a specific input, which I have prepared for this tutorial. After hitting Enter, it will generate a few images, sometimes three, sometimes four. You can create an image based on your input. Let's wait for it to finish and see the generated images. Now that the images have been generated, clicking on one will allow you to examine the results. This one looks good, let's experiment with it. The text looks quite well crafted compared to some other AI tools that struggle with text. It's important to note that these images have a square aspect ratio of 1024 by 1024. If you're satisfied with any of them, you can click download. Another way to access DALI 3 is by using the Bing Image Creator, which is similar to Bing Chat, but tailored for images. Keep in mind that with the free version, you only have 100 boosts per day for faster image creation. Once you exceed that limit, image generation takes around 30 minutes. Let's paste the same input here and click Create to see what it generates for us. Looking at my recent creations, you can see that the images are the same as those generated from Bing Chat. Both of them are quite impressive. Let's wait for this one to finish to see if the images are different. Now that it's done, you can see that this image offers more detail. I like this one, and the text remains very clear. This one also looks quite good, not too bad. Another advantage of this tool is the Customize option once you click on it. Let's talk about customization. For example, when you choose the first option and click on Customize, it opens the Microsoft Designer tool. I've talked about this tool in the past, and you can find more information on my channel. This tool allows you to create various post templates using your images. It generates some templates, but that's not our focus today. Let's go back to the main menu. Here, you can share, save, or download your design as a JPEG. These are the two free options for accessing DALI 3. For the paid option, you can access it through ChatGPT, specifically for ChatGPT Plus users. You'll need to pay for this feature. Once you're in GPT-4, you can find DALI 3 as one of the beta features. But before we start testing different prompts, let's understand what aspect ratios DALI 3 within ChatGPT can generate. We can enter a prompt to find out. It can generate three aspect ratios, square, wide, and tall. Now. Let's test the same prompt we used to test the free version to see if the image quality improves or remains the same. After entering the prompt, DALI 3 starts providing more detailed descriptions of how the images are generated, helping you create more accurate images. Let's see what it generates. It's generating four images, and these look much better than what we saw in the free version. The image quality is noticeably improved. Before we explore more examples, it's essential to mention that you don't need permission to use the images you generate. You can use them for reprints, selling, or merchandise. As stated on OpenAI's website, this freedom is crucial for using the images in various digital products. Products. Returning to DALI 3, we'll now test some examples of digital products we've discussed on this channel, starting with coloring images. I'd like to create a black and white sketch of a baby lion for a coloring book sharp outline. Let's see what it comes up with. This one looks promising. We can fine tune it by making a few adjustments, and it should be perfect for our coloring book. I'll also explore how the AI handles text-based content for coloring books. Let's give it a try. I asked for a text illustration for a coloring book with a clear, sharp, black and white outline. After generating an image, remember that each AI-generated image is unique, so you may get different results. This one, for instance, has a rather thick black line for a coloring book, but it's not bad. We can work on improving it further. Let's aim for improvements. We should try generating more content with a wider aspect ratio to see if it gives us something different. After generating it, it still doesn't quite meet our expectations. Let's take a closer look. Unfortunately, you can't add colors to this particular element. However, depending on what you want to showcase, you might still find it useful. I've directed other attempts that look much better than this, but it's worth experimenting a few more 
times to see if we can generate something superior. These are the two examples I wanted to highlight, specifically when it comes to coloring books. Now let's move forward to test clip arts as we discussed digital products earlier on this channel. First, we'll try generating a watercolor image of a strawberry cake. Let's see what it produces. The outcome looks excellent in terms of watercolors. I believe it did a commendable job with this image. It closely resembles what you'd find in a mid-journey. This is very appealing. The images turned out great, especially the watercolor effect. I'm pleased with how they look. Let's try one more thing. Generating some cute fruit images for kids' flashcards. We'll input apple, grapes, and strawberry to see what it creates. I'm curious to know if it will include all three in a single image. Let's find out. It generated three of them in one image which is interesting. In some previous tests, it would produce a single image for all three elements, but in this case, it created three separate ones, which isn't a bad outcome. As I mentioned earlier, these images are of high quality and you can always use a tool like Canva to customize them further based on your needs. Remember, for every AI-generated image, you should upscale it before using it. Let's explore how to create characters for things like children's storybooks or any character you need for your projects. Let's take a look at some examples. I'd like to generate a character of a black woman with Afro hair, displaying different expressions. It's essentially a character design process. Let's see what it comes up with. One thing to note in this particular scenario is that I provided a name for this character. Let's check if it can create an image in a particular style. Okay, it generated a character with a decent shade. Let's take a closer look and you'll notice various facial expressions. Initially, it's a neutral face, but then it turns into happiness with a smile and an open mouth. This is the main character with somewhat similar facial expressions, although there are some differences. There are also various hairstyles and expressions in the Mix. The quality of the image might not match that of Mid Journey, but it's making a commendable effort to create a consistent character. However, Mid Journey seems to offer higher quality and richness in character depiction, but you can still generate similar things here which can be helpful, especially for those working on storylines or storybooks. And there you have it, folks, an exciting journey through the world of DALI 3. From transforming your creative visions into stunning images to exploring the endless possibilities of AI-driven artistry, we hope you've enjoyed this adventure as much as we have. If you found this video inspiring and informative, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more incredible content like this. Make sure to ring that notification bell too, so you never miss an update from us. This has been the Digital Wealth Hive, and remember to be wealthy. Bye.